your girl pan i'm back with another video y'all i know i've been gone for a little while it's been a lot going on you know with us getting over covid and stuff like that but y'all i know y'all saw that thumbnail i know y'all saw that title i'm about to be talking to y'all about how i got scammed so <clears throat> if y'all follow me on instagram and y'all ain't following me on instagram y'all need to be doing that because i do follow back and whatever but y'all on my instagram i posted a story because so let me just start from the top y'all i just left the beauty salon it's saturday it's a beautiful day and um i'm about to get my nails done i don't have no one with me y'all i'm by myself for the first time feels good feels great but i just want to come on here and talk to the homies one time so y'all look so before i get into that y'all it is date night for sean and i so serge turned eight months today and he i have not okay so if I have been on dates, I have went out with like my friends and stuff, but Sean to have the baby. And then Sean has went out with his friends, but I would have the baby. So this is our first time going out together without the baby. Meaning we're gonna let someone outside of us watch the baby. Like our first official date night. And I'm so excited, so I'm trying to get cute. Let me go get my nails done and my feet done. I'm trying to get cute, y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and like my post that I'm about to post because the girl about to get dressed, or at least try to, y'all. So with all that being said, whoop de whoop. I got scammed. So me having surge and whatever. I know I talked a lot already, and it's only up. It's only been a minute. Bear with me, y'all. My mind is scattered right now because I'm doing too much, and I'm like, well, let me just exactly just bear with me, y'all. So I got scammed by people that I know. It was a real hurtful situation. Um, for those of y'all that don't know, our main channel we are signed to a label. It's called FYI, and we are signed with them and. It's a lot of other people sign. And if y'all hear a noise in the background, I'm trying to work this phone up here, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. So, we signed or whatever. And throughout the group, it was these people that sold shoes. And I just wanted to support a black business. I love supporting black businesses. I love supporting um, anything related to black business and stuff like that. Especially if I know you. Like, that's like a, ooh, I'm about to support. And not to mention, y'all, Yeezys are expensive and i haven't did anything for myself since i had surge so i thought like i must spend a little pretty penny on a nice pair of tennis shoes which i don't normally do because i'm like a sandal uh type of girl depending on the weather so i'm like okay i'm gonna do this or whatever ordered the shoes i didn't get no tracking number it was it was like i'm like it's been a month where i should they come and it takes seven to ten days it's been seven to ten days still letting all this ride y'all got the shoes they didn't fit didn't know that these particular Yeezys run small, so you gotta get a size up. I reached out to the girl who I know, like I said, we all signed to the major label. Well, not major, but you get what I'm saying. We all signed to a label. I reached out to her, explaining to her XYZ, if this your friend or whatever the case may be, no problem, exchange. She don't do exchange. Still didn't trip. I'm like, okay, let me just find a store, you know, exchange them like that. So that's what I went on to do, y'all come to find out so when i walked in the store you know hey how y'all doing xyz you know talking being nice how i'm always nice and um i thought somebody was honking at me so i did that and whatever sorry if y'all hear that somebody beeping so I took him to the store, did all that good stuff. He looking at the shoes, examined them. He took this light, like a blue light, the black light. You know how they shine on the hotel bed to see if it's something on there. He shined the shoes on the, he, he signed, the shoes should be in here. He, saw, he, he shined the light on the shoes, sticker, and it came back fake, y'all. It came back fake. Mind you, I'm living. I spent $300 on these shoes. So I reach out to her, hey, these shoes are fake. Sorry for the inconvenience. Can I get my money back? Oh, unfortunately, we don't do refunds. The shoe's not fake, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm telling you. Like, it was just constant going back and forth. So you know me. I said, okay, well, either you give me my money back or when I see you, it's on site, period. Like, and a lot of people said I handled that wrong. For instance, Sean said I handled that wrong and stuff like that. But I don't know how else to handle stuff. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to be taught something because you took $300 from me. I have two kids. I never had two kids before. That's first off. Second off, you deliver and send me some fake stuff. And the fact that you could scam people that you know 
Like, that's crazy to me because you're going to come across the right one that's going to knock your top back blue, period. So, me and Sean reaching out to them and stuff like that. The dude getting smart with Sean and all this crazy stuff. Remind you, at the end of the day, me and the girl was talking. He inserted himself into some female drama, which I think is some whole shit. And yeah it's just crazy y'all it's just crazy so needless to say i had to try to dispute it with my bank do all this extra shit and your girl still don't have her money i say all that to say y'all just be careful who you support who you think your friend who you think you can trust because people always have hidden hidden agendas with you like people will try to use you for the greater good of themselves and you get left with nothing. You know what I'm saying? My circle is very small. I've been having the same best friend forever. I go to the either my natural girl or my braid girl. No one in between. I will go without getting my hair done. Like, you just can't trust nobody for real. And it's so sad because you're supposed to honor thy neighbor. You're supposed to be cool with people. But how can you in this world where everybody's so greedy? I didn't grow up like that. You know what I'm saying? If I knew you, we live on the same street. We, you dated my dude boyfriend like we was a family we looked out for each other that's what the Italians do if you married to him you automatically get put in a circle of protection of love of honesty you get what I'm saying so with me being signed to FYI I'm thinking that we all are under this umbrella of everything survival togetherness faithfulness trustworthiness you know what I'm saying I share stuff with this girl that a lot of people don't know about me all type of stuff y'all just to get burnt and then when i ex explained to her that it was a problem she still didn't try to rectify the situation and my thing is let somebody come to me and be like oh pay you you told me to go here i went and it wasn't right oh honey i would give you your money back because i don't want you to think that i don't know how to refer people or anything like that like my heart is so big i wear it on my sleeve my, first of all i worked in healthcare all my life just recently stopped to do customer service working at home because i have a baby in covid so I, I i'm i'm look look at my hands i'm known to give people anything off of me if you know me like if I, if I have your child i'm taking care of it like it's my child like it's no in between with me it's either black or gray you you get what you get so my feelings were hurt you know what I'm saying? Um, I did reach out on some negative stuff, but I, like I said, it's whatever with me, period. You know what I'm saying? Like people is crazy and they conniving and they're evil and they're greedy and greed run everything. Like I don't even like the color green because it's greed. You feel me? Like, no, 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 no. So yeah, y'all got skin. Let me see if the shoes in the trunk. They should be, hold on, let me show y'all. So I ordered the 700 Yeezys. So he shined his like, Hold on, I ain't shut the damn door. Okay, my bad, y'all. So these are the 700 Yeezys. Mind you, look at the box. Already bent up, broke down. Still didn't think nothing of it. He shined the light on this part. And that's what showed you. So I wanted some all black shoes that I could wear. Um, eventually start working out in. And these are the shoes. The dude said you could tell by the smell he said they were they look like they were they smell like they were made in a factory he said they was flimsy oh he broke it down honey and i'm not above wearing fake stuff when i was younger you know the pete the purse man come in the nail shop you buy a fake purse you know what i'm saying i'm in my 30s now you get what i'm saying so i don't particularly like to wear fake stuff because i don't have the need to impress nobody i don't fake it till i make it i will go buy aldo purse i will go buy a teflar did I say that right? No, a tail floor bag. I, um, that's two hundred dollars. I will go do something that I can afford in my bracket before I go spend money that I don't have on a designer that uh, wants you to spend with them. You get what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that because some of these designers target broke people so they could feel rich. Rich people not walking around with Gucci head to toe, Louis head to toe. This is my preference, y'all. Just hear me out. So, I don't fake it till I make it. I don't have no reason to. I got on the h and H&M shirt, some shoes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not out here trying to look like the next bitch. Because without the Gucci, you see what I'm saying? I'm still a double G. That's how I'm coming. My confidence who I am. So, this hurting my fucking feelings. So, these fake ass shoes. Y'all, if y'all want them, let me know. If y'all don't have a... If, if somebody don't have a problem with it, like, shit, pay you spent that money, I'll wear them. Who would know? You tripping. Whatever the case may be, free of charge. If you want them, let me know. I just don't do that no more. I matured. I leveled up in my own mind for me. 
not nobody else not my dude not no girls not no social media for me if i don't have it i don't have it but i do have something you see what i'm saying and i'm not gonna try to fake it to make it to fit in with anyone not saying that's what people do but i'm just talking for patience that's all i can speak on it's patience renee that's it i don't know nobody else that's it that's all so yeah y'all I'm over it and stuff like that, but I'm about to go in here and get my nails and feet done, y'all. I'm still tripping off of that. I just wanted to make a video to let y'all know. Um, we coming back, y'all. We've been gone for a little minute. Just getting everything worked out, you know what I'm saying? Like, my household went over COVID. I think I'm gonna get white toes and, like, a cute little color on my hands because it is hot. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all hit me up on IG. It'll be under my description box below. And I love y'all, period. Help me get to a K, y'all, and help him pay and shine and get to 10K. And I'm on to the next time you already know. Peace.